The man suddenly realized he had spent 108 days alone on Mars. He started searching everywhere for a way to send news of his survival back to Earth, and he finally found a Pathfinder Vehicle 1 that had been shut down back in 1997. Though the machine was extremely old, he didn't give up when he connected to it and turned it on it actually started working. As soon as he pointed the signal tower toward Earth, the space agency on Earth received the signal. Everyone was shocked because they knew someone must be alive on Mars. And since it was their own vehicle, they could also take control of it. Meanwhile, the man sitting on Mars also saw that the Pathfinder was working. Even though the machine was very old and took half an hour just to send a single word this gave him hope that he wasn't alone. He immediately grabbed some white bars and pins wrote simple words on them and placed them in front of the camera. Before long, the people on Earth received his message. Everyone grew overjoyed and started communicating with him through gestures using the camera to connect. Then the man thought they needed a faster way to talk, so he drew a circle of 16 letters around the camera and the team on Earth did the same. Now they could send letters one by one by directing the camera's focus and the man could read them to form complete words. But this method still took too much time, so the Earth team suggested upgrading the Pathfinder system and linking it to the camera, allowing for instant communication. Everyone was happy because now they could talk directly, but there was another huge problem if a rescue mission came from Earth, he would have to survive alone for four years. The man said he had learned how to grow potatoes on Mars and that he could survive not just four years, but even 40 years on his own. But the very next day, a terrible accident happened. The pressure difference in the lab became so extreme that a massive explosion occurred glass on the spacesuit crack. Oxygen started leaking, so he sealed the crack with tape. When he got back to the lab, he saw all his potatoes were covered in ice dead. This was his only hope for survival, and now it was gone. He sent this news to Earth and urged them to speed up the rocket launch. The space agency immediately sent a new rocket, but shortly after liftoff, it exploded in midair. Now, the hope of rescuing him seemed lost until the Chinese space agency stepped forward to help. They proposed a new plan their booster rocket could deliver fuel and supplies to the Hermes return spacecraft that was approaching Mars and the man would have to connect with the Hermes using a small rocket. 